Last week on Mother's Day, my mom was doing some house cleaning and she brought over a bunch of my old schoolwork from elementary school. She said this is about half of the stuff that she's kept throughout the years. Look at that, third grade. That's my third grade schoolwork right there. There's some like kindergarten stuff in there as well. Look at this bag. Jordan Ceramics, 1998. This bag, this bag is older than most of you watching this. Show it some respect. When the bag shows up, respect its name. Anyway, we've got some like art stuff in here all bubble wrapped up and then more like paper based schoolwork in here. I don't know, We could. this could last for a few videos, but let's start off, I'm gonna grab one of these daybook things. I'm fairly certain this is kindergarten, which is, it's almost 20 years ago. Oh my God, 19 years ago. Mixing some colors together. I don't know, what was I mixing there? Red plus something equals, that equation doesn't make any sense. Here we have some actual color mixing down here. Made some purple. We made some, that's a bad, that's really dark purple. And that's basically the same color. Good, good job to me. Now, oh man. There's some serious skateboards right there. They're more like boats. I tried to nail down the perspective, it looks like. Because, you know, I got the four wheels there. They're pretty much monster truck size, though, so. <laughs> Shows you how long I've been skateboarding. I've been skateboarding for a very long time. More back then than I do now. I have absolutely no idea what I was going for on, on this page here, but, oh. This must have been like Thanksgiving, 1996. Yeah, that's when I was in kindergarten. This is a freaking turkey for Thanksgiving. That's not bad, actually. I'm I'm pleased with this. I don't even know if I could match. I don't know what's going on with the leg down there. There's, there's like a really big cyst, rectangular cyst, but the rest of it though, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh God, this one's, I don't, I don't know what this one was for. It's like me as like an angel or something. Just the greatest self portrait that, that you've ever seen in your entire life. But some of the people watching this are like, you just drew that, you just drew all this right now. You're passing it off as kindergarten. You just wanted to give an art show. But you're but you're telling everyone that, oh, you drew this in kindergarten. It's you could carbon date the carbon on that graphite pencil drawing. Say 1997 on it. I don't know if carbon dating works that soon. But you can carbon date it. Oh, I shared this one on uh, on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and stuff. I think that was the last one. But I dude, I improved. It's still a boat-sized skateboard with, with some, not quite monster truck wheels anymore, but, you know, we go over some bumps, mountain board maybe, something like that. I'm pretty sure that's the last thing I ever did in kindergarten. That was it, kindergarten lasted like five days, and then they were like, this dude. This dude's so smart, we're promoting him to first grade. That didn't happen, but I don't, we just, I guess I didn't draw that much in my day book thing. Oh, we're moving up in the world here. I wrote my name in cursive on this one. I was like super nerd and I asked my mom to teach me cursive like years before they taught it in school so that I'd be like way ahead of everyone because that's the way I am. A lot of good that did because of computers, but I'm, I'm trying, I don't know what year this was. I feel like this is either, this might be second grade, maybe. So yeah, this has to be at least like second grade because I've got this, I've got this text that I wrote to accompany my drawing here. Here, let's give it a read. How paddle was made. Paddle is a carved Indian in a canoe who was made near Lake Nipigong by a boy. What? What? I need some context here. What is <laughs> The boy started to make a pa paddle, pad hyphen dole, by whittling a piece of pine. When he was done with whittling paddle, the boy melted lead in an iron, you know what? Hey, hey, there is an excellent, can you see that? Can you see that or is it blown out? Excellent Jordan, A plus, perfect paragraph. Pardon me, but that is an accomplishment. I got perfect paragraph in second grade. Also my handwriting, hold on. I just wanna, I just wanna show you my handwriting here, which I'm kind of proud of. I don't think my handwriting is even this good nowadays. So, hey, not bad at all. And there we go, just to zoom in. Excellent, Jordan. A perfect paper. Okay, what else? Hold on. Let me see. Let me see what else we got here. Oh, okay, it continues. It continues. Okay. So he melted the lead in an iron sump spoon. 
Then he attached a piece of tin to the canoe for a rudder. After all that, the boy painted paddle. Paddle the name of something? Are we talking about just like a wooden paddle, like an oar? For a, a boat? Like I'm capitalizing paddle as if it's a person. He's forming this person named Paddle out of iron. And now Paddle was ready for his long journey. What? This is cool though. This is like a diagram of a, a boat, kind of. And I, so I'm pretty sure this was second grade. I'm kind of like vaguely remembering it. Yeah. See, I remember actually making this boat out of foil and then toothpicks or something like that. Pole that keep the sail. Three keels. And then a description of my boat. I made my boat out of foil. It is made mainly out of foil and some tape. I tested my boat in the sink. My boat has a sail and three keels so it can't tip over. Little engineering genius right here, man. Little engineering genius. Now you're probably wondering what I looked like back then. This is me in, this is third grade, just absolutely shredding. Dude, even my shirt says rip it. How was I ever this cool? I just don't understand. The, that from there to now? I have so much that I should have lived up to. God dang it. I was so much better. Also Kobe Bryant. Basketball was actually like my first big sport and I was super into it up until just about high school because then I talked to my, my counselor when I was going into high school. He was also the coach of the basketball team and I was like, oh, I'm interested in basketball. He's like, <laughs> you're like short as hell. And I was like, wow. All right, guess no basketball for me. Shoot. Oh my God, dude, this is on the other side of the folder. This is definitely before third grade. And then look, shredding it again. The shredding never stops and it says, oh, it says rip net. Whatever, I was ripping up the, the net, the basketball and the skate park. Just, oh my God, look at the chips on the board. Do you see that? I used to skate with like the worst chips because we couldn't afford to get new boards all the time. And so I just, I wore that out so hard and it would destroy my shins. There we go, dude. Ripping it even more. You can't, stop glaring against the light. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, everyone went through this phase at some point. The S, the S letter. Like, I don't know, what are the origins of this? Where did this originate? Because everyone's done this at some point, but it has no cohesive origin story. 2000 to 2001. This, this, so yeah, this came from the third grade folder. Look at those really great attempts at that. You tried, but then you mastered it. Good going. Hey, we were talking about carbon dating, but here's carbon printing. I guess we just, we took fingerprints by just rubbing a whole bunch of pencil and then sticking our fingers in it. So these are my fingerprints, I guess. All right, preparing me for the criminal database. Very early, very young. Ladies and gentlemen, it got out of control. It got way out of control. Oh my God, what is this? I made like a mutant S. What is it? It's like, it's like you took the S and then just injected it with some kind of awful chemical that caused it to mutate. We're still in the mutant S book here. What is multiplication? See, math was my strong suit, not spelling, not, not English. It's math, like adding, but it's faster. Instead of saying one plus one plus one, you do three times one or one times three. Multiplication is related to dividing. If you know the answer to the multiplication problem, it fit into division. See, seven times four is 28, but then I definitely got the notation wrong there. 140 divided by 28 is five. That should have been switched the places of the 140 and the, and the 28, but you, you got it. Division, multiplication, boom, mic drop. We out. I'm not gonna lie. I'm impressed with my handwriting. I think it's honestly gotten worse. I peaked in third grade, ladies and gents. Oh my god, there's color here. What in the world? I never did color, ever. I can't remember how it came up, but when my mom gave this stuff to me, she told me that privately, my, my first second grade teacher had told her that when I was being bad and she wanted to punish me, she would make me use crayons. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> This just in retrospect, the fact that that was like some behind-the-scenes conversation between parent and teacher 
But anyway, it was because I hated using colors. I was all about just like pencil and, and black and white. So, yeah. Dude, I got so competitive over this. I don't know if it still exists anymore, the, the presidential physical fitness thing, but I like had to be number one. That was, that was my thing. I just had to. I had like the long jump record and the pull up record at my school, which you know is very, very important stuff when you're in third grade. In retrospect, that's something to put on your job resume tell all your future potential employers about. And somehow I was actually really quick at, at running like the half mile and the mile, even though I cannot run it all nowadays. I'm, I'm absolutely hopeless, but I actually did really well. I was like top three or so in, in those in my grade. So, you know, man, formerly super active me. I didn't really do anything with the certificates. I, I guess this was a bumper sticker that my mom could have put on her car. She was like, nah, I'm gonna pass on the bumper sticker. <laughs> I'm like, I sympathize. I would never put a bumper sticker on. Uh, but, you know, you could have supported me, Mom. You could have supported me. I worked really hard for those 25 pull-ups. The fact that I can even still remember that um, means it probably was more of an accomplishment to me than it ever should have been. Now, you see, here in third grade, we had a conundrum on our hands. We were having a party for Chinese New Year, okay? You can't see that because of the light but there are gonna be 37 people, but each of them need two chopsticks. What are you gonna do? How are you gonna provide chopsticks for all of them? Well, that wasn't the question. We weren't talking logistics here. We just need to know how many. 37 times two is 74. Answer, 74. Just, I, I'm, I made parties happen. I made parties happen in third grade. You came to me if you wanted a party. Well, I seem to have found my third grade literature book, which was my absolute least favorite subject. Let's see how it went. Oh no, the glue, the glue fell off. I used to have glue on the back and it fell out. Oh man, I guess that stuff expires after like 18 years. This is what I did in the summer. Skateboarding camp, orca camp, which is like a, it was a beach camp thing. And every single day there, we would dig like a, a big fort and then cover it with towels and surfboards and stuff. And we would hide out uh, and like carve chairs out of the sand and hide out under the sand. It was great. It's great memories. Um, and then home, Game Boy, friend, golf, TV, basketball toys. I was really into golf for a period of time because I had some friends who, who played golf and I was like, I want to be, I want to be cool like them. So that was summer, I guess. I, um... I played my Game Boy a little. I played with my friends, John and Shane. I play in a junior golf tournament. Our team got 17 points. I watch tons of on the weekends, sometimes five. Of what? Probably television. Lots of TV. I'm like, I'm, pr I'm proud. I'm proud of that. Analyzing a character. Be wait, is this Frog Prince beginning frog and then he becomes a prince is that what I'm doing here he is a frog uh, to, what did I say turned into a frog by a witch he's very sad very sad indeed the frog prince was was unhappy it's okay that was the one that was out the frog the frog prince very un unhappy with with his with his fate, but then he turned back into a prince. They got married, and that is illegible. And lived a long life to get to get together. To he ha, he is handsome. Yes, the advantages of, of and disadvantages of having siblings slash being an only child. I'm an only child, so youngest. You don't get blamed as much. That was what I envisioned the advantage was. Or am I, perhaps I'm basing it off of this book. Is this reading comprehension? I don't know. The older one shoos you away if you're the younger one. They don't want to hang out. No way. Your older siblings, super exclusive, dude. Oldest, you get more privileges, which I still can't spell that word. It's okay. It's okay, third grade, Jordan. No one can spell that word. Actually, a lot of people can, but I still can't. <laughs> Uh, disadvantage, you get blamed more. Middle, you're older than your little brother, or sister, or maybe it's based on the book, again, I don't know. Um, but you don't get to play as much. I don't, why? 
Why not? I don't... Okay. The only child, though! That's why. You get more presents. That's... That's it. That's just boom. That's the That's why you want to be an only child. You get more presents. Uh, but the disadvantage is you don't get to play with other kids. But you do. You get to have friends, just not siblings. But you get more presents. That beats everything. So, what is your place in your family? Only child, obviously. What do you think is the best place? Only child. What do you think is the worst place? Youngest. But I'm an only child, so it doesn't count because I'm youngest and oldest. We're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> I just roasted scooters. I just roasted scooters in third grade. Wait. Okay. Fad. Fads are that come very strong and are popular for a while. Then they die out. Scooter. Current fad. People still ride them at skate parks. Nerds, dude. Only losers still ride them at skate parks. <laughs> um, that's my image of a scooter. I assume that's like the head-on view. Handlebars up there at the top. Damn. I Sorry, if you ride scooters, there are people who do really cool stuff on scooters. But I just roasted that. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, before we wind this down, we should take a look at some majestic artwork ceramics or something already. Already. Do you see this? This is obviously a lid to something, which is just glorious. My, oh, and then I even put my name there. Yeah. What a valuable piece of art that was. I think I may have found what the lid goes to, but it doesn't fit very well, so I'm not completely sure. Oh, it's just a little holder for something or other. I, gra I grabbed a couple of other things, though. I'm not entirely sure what this is. What, what is this? It's like a, a dinosaur, but there's a head coming out of its butt as well. It's like a mouth there and a mouth there. And these are like the spines on its back, and then it's being eaten by a snake, but it has a head coming out of its butt. So I'm not, like, totally sure what I was thinking here. A little, little bit odd. However, this one's pretty cool, though. I'm actually... The paint job on this one... Like, that, that's actually kind of nifty. I really like how that turned out. Did I do that myself? That just seems a little bit too... well-colored for it to have been something I did, but I must have done it. This is actually kind of cool. I might put this somewhere. Huh. Ceramics, man. I have priceless ones now. These are obviously all like multi-million dollar pieces if they were in a gallery. So, um, pretty sick, dude. Anyway, let me know if you enjoyed watching this because there is a ton more stuff to check out. And remember, this is this is half of what my mom had, so I can ask her to bring down the other stuff too. Anyway, we might space it out a little bit, but let me know what you thought. And um, I'm gonna wind it down there for now, that was fun. A little, little trip down nostalgia lane. So on that note, um, I'll see you guys later.